In today's Forever Family Child Protective Services Specialist, Sonia Garcia joins us to share the story of Alethea. Sonia, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. We're just so happy. This is our second segment. The first one was so special talking about Sonia. Now we're talking about Alethea. What is she like? Alethea is 12 years old and um, she is full of energy. She loves to play soccer, basketball. Um, she wishes to join uh, UIL for next year and she loves to do storytelling. Um, she was actually very happy that she was gonna be on the news today. She was featured. She's very optimistic in finding her forever family. Um, she was excited and she wanted to show um, her picture. She actually drew something for me and she wanted to show it. So and I we'll have her picture here. Yes, <laughs> and show it to us because that's Alethea right there that yes. you see in the boxes. But and, and this is what she did. That is what she drew. We'll definitely try to get a close up before we, <laughs> um, we leave today here. But that is just so special to see how they're so positive and they're so eager. And uh, tell us more about her. Um, she's doing storytelling, so I know she loves to read and she likes to tell stories and she makes up her own stories and loves to act them out and she's just fun to be with. She loves to put a smile on your face and she wants to be the center of attention and just joke about everything and, and I'm hopeful that you know, she can put a smile on someone's face. That is such a beautiful story. I mean, definitely so inspiring to be able to find hopefully hundreds of Valley children, a forever family. And we do want to talk about the requirements for those that are certainly interested in either fostering or adopting, right? So let's talk about those basic requirements. You need to be at least 21 years of age, financially stable and responsible. Of course, uh, we also want people that want to share their information and their lifestyle, get a background check and show proof of marriage and or divorce. What else is important for anyone else considering adoption? Um, it's also important for them to know that they don't have to be married. They could be single. Um, you know, a lot of families out there think, oh, one of the requirements may be that they have to be married. No, you can adopt as a single person and adopt a child. Thank you, Sonia, for joining us this Thank afternoon. You. Let's definitely find Alethea a forever home. We'll be right back.